Speed is defined as the rate at which an object covers distance. It is measured in meters per second and it has the symbol uppercase letter S. So in our previous example, we calculated the distance covered by this object, where we know that distance is the length of the path taken. We said the distance covered was 19 meters. Now, if we know that this object covered that distance in four seconds, then we can calculate the speed using the simple formula. Speed is equal to distance over time, where the distance we know was covered as 19 meters. The time given was four seconds, which means that the speed of this object was 4.75 meters per second. Now, just as there's a difference between distance and displacement, there's also a difference between speed and velocity, where velocity is defined as the rate of change of displacement. It has the symbol V, often also written with a line on top of it to remind us that it is a vector quantity, therefore it must have magnitude and direction, and it is also measured in meters per second. The difference here now is that in order to calculate the velocity of this object, the definition says it is the rate of change of displacement. So where speed is distance over time, velocity is displacement over time. You will note that we sometimes write displacement as delta x, meaning the change in position. And our displacement here, we calculated as 9.85 meters, the diff the distance from the starting point to the end point of that journey and it still took this object four seconds to move from that starting point to the end point which means that the velocity of this object is very different to its speed. The velocity is 2.46 meters per second and once again it is important to remember that velocity is a vector quantity and therefore must have direction and the direction of the velocity will be the same as the direction of the displacement, which was calculated using trigonometry. And so we say that the final answer here is that the velocity of this object is 2.46 meters per second at an angle of 23.96 degrees. It's important to understand the difference between speed and velocity. The one is a vector quantity and the other is a scalar quantity. Velocity is far more commonly used and it's important to remember that velocities must always be given with a direction.